We begin with investigators confirming the identities of two teenagers who were shot to death last night in Northwest Tulsa. I'm Clay Loney. And I'm Katie Higgins in tonight for Shea. Detectives say Christopher Foster and Cynthia Pereza, both 18, were killed. A 19-year-old woman was injured. Antonio Simmons is now behind bars facing charges tonight. New at 5, Fox 23's Nina Carter is reporting live for us after talking with friends of the victims. Nina. I spoke with friends of Cynthia Peraza who told who didn't want to go on camera but told me they're heartbroken. She was killed over a matter she had nothing to do with. Police say Christopher Foster and Cynthia Peraza are dead after what appears to be a teenage breakup that took a deadly turn. Detectives say 45 year old Antonio Simmons called 911 after opening fire on the car Foster and Peraza were passengers in Sunday night. The accusations of, of domestic abuse between the, the 17 year old uh, female stepdaughter of the shooter, uh, Mr. Simmons, and then uh, the deceased 18 year old. Sergeant Dave Walker says the three victims showed up at Simmons house on West Oklahoma Place and were eventually kicked out. That's when police say Simmons followed them out and shot all three. Police say the 19 year old driver was hit twice but is expected to be okay. Walker says Simmons alleged Foster was abusive to his stepdaughter and recently vandalized his home and cars. I think the response is way too drastic. Walker says the most tragic part is Praza was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Ending up killed at 18 years old for, for riding in the back seat. I also spoke with those who know Simmons who told me he wouldn't do something like this unless he was afraid for his life. Police say Simmons says he feared for his life and is claiming self-defense. Detectives say no weapons were found in the victim's car. Now we'll continue to stay in close contact with police and bring you any information as soon as we get it. Reporting live in East Tulsa, covering news that matters. I'm Nina Carter, Fox 23 News. Absolutely horrible story, Nina. It's hard to imagine how it escalated that far. Thanks.